number 23 there are quite a few approaches to this question I'll choose the most straightforward one I have the three products methane, ethene and propene and I know that ethene is 0 0.5 more fraction of a whole all the products so I'll try to assign whole numbers to all of them I'll choose methane as a basis I'll put one more here that means I can also put one more for your propene okay. for convenience sake I put one one here and then since half of the more fraction is for 18 I'll have to put two here because two out of total of four will give us 0 0.5 it's a bit of try and error okay, I'll just choose convenience small numbers to start off with once I have these numbers I'll check whether the number of carbons tally or not so I will have a total of 1 plus 4 plus 3 carbons total of 8 4 plus 8 plus 6 hydrogens total of 18 so 8 carbons 18 hydrogens so these numbers work out okay, do these numbers have to be the same 1 and 1 not necessary okay but it's just for convenience sake and it happens to be to be okay if you put 1 and 3 and then that means you have to adjust this number to be 4 so a lot of common permutations just choose easy numbers and see whether it works for the options okay. you can see that in this case your number of carbons will be too much Twenty four, which one does not show cis trans isomerism? I've drawn some of the molecules out. Okay, I left out some of the hydrogens for for the other options to make it clearer. What we have to focus on is the carbon carbon double bond. You can see that this carbon has two of the same groups joined to it, two groups of CH three, so it will not have cis trans which is the answer that we are looking for if you check the others they do not have two of the same groups joined to the carbons at the double bonds so B, C and D can have cis trans isomerism 25 propanone and propanol ketone and aldehyde what shows them to be the different so if we draw the display or the structural formula we can see that they are actually different compounds so structural formula is different molecular formula is the same C3H6O so that one can't tell us that they are different com compounds display formula we have to go in order using the display formula we can actually see that there are different compounds I should not have a H here okay, so they are different so the display will tell us that they are different structural will tell us that they are different if they have the same molecular they will have the same empirical anyway so empirical formula will be the same for both 26 how many isomers do we have for C5H10 that involve pi bonding so this is an alkene we have a few alkenes here I've drawn that at the bottom again I left out some of the hydrogens focusing just on the double bonds the straight chain one the double bond could be here this one do not have cis trans because we have two of the same hydrogen if we move the double bond inwards we have a molecule that looks like this this molecule can have cis trans so we have actually three so far okay this molecule and this molecule with its cis transversion then we start to branch them up four in a row and then the fifth one branch we put a double bond here no cis trans this one no cis trans also because this carbon is joined to two other CH3 and then we have the double, the double bond here no cis trans also because of two of the same hydrogen so we have a total of one two 
three, four, five, six possible structures. Okay, you can compare to the structures you come up with, you should have these six. Why do they say involve pi bonding? Because they don't want you to include the molecule that is join in a ring. This will be C 5H10 with no double bonds. Okay, but this is not part of the ones we should count. 27 we have a halogen alkene. If we boil it with sodium hydroxide there will be a nucleophilic substitution. This is partially positive. It will be attacked by your nucleophile, your OH minus. Twenty-eight. There is an ester. The ester bond is here. So when we Hydrolyze it, we are actually cleaving the ester bond. So a C, if you visualize a C double bond O here, okay, it will be split up. And we want the part that is the acidic part. So taking away one oxygen, this part is the acidic part. Right? The one on the right side is the alcohol. And once we have the acid, this is the formula. C4H8O2 but they want the empirical formula we simplify further we divide throughout by 2 to get the simplest ratio twenty nine we have this molecule and we we have the chiral carbons marked out in the red asterisk here. Now what happens when we treat them with cold dilute KMnO4? When it's cold dilute, what happens will be at this double bond here. There will be a diol form OH, OH. And once these two are formed, we actually have two more chiral centers. So plus two chiral centers. If we use hot concentrated KMnO4, hot concentrated KMnO4 will be cleaving this one and then this one will form a ketone. I'll do in pen. This will form a ketone and this one will form an acid. Okay, but don't forget we have an OH here. Under hot concentrated KM KMnO4 it will actually be oxidized into a ketone. So this chiral carbon will no longer exist. So there's a there's a drop in the number of chiral carbons okay, due to the loss of this chiral carbon. That's why we have plus 2, minus 1. Number 30, which one would not give ethanoic acid as a product? B, C and D will be producing ethanoic acid under hydrolysis, oxidation or, or oxidation for D also. A, what we get if we reflux your nitrile with sodium hydroxide, you get a salt, sodium ethanoid. So it will not give us ethanoic acid. 